This exercise works with the balloon festival. Going through this precisely in the project here, and you know how to save. And if it says your student name last first, you know that part. So we got that. It is saved here. We could change the theme to slice. It doesn't matter where I'm clicked in here. I click on the design tab. We go to themes. I want to find slice. It changes it a bit. You really don't see it here, okay? But um, what we're going to do here, we're going to be customizing this thing here. I select the first line in the document. And what I'm going to do here, I want to put this into word art. And I go on to the tab, insert, word art. And it said to use dark purple accent 2, at line 2. Um... first row third column that is a huge help when you're doing this it tells you where to place the thing here I want to change the font to a 20 size I go on the home it's still selected make it 20 I can really type in there so I've got that now you want the text to wrap around the word object here I click right in that little doodad there and then I find top bottom that's not it top and bottom the text is underneath and I want to visually center this I click in here get the arrow just pull it over you see those green guides there which is helping you do it very precisely we're gonna go into now we want to use a shape style here it's still selected here and I click on format under drawing tools shape styles and we want to use fourth row third column so we have that effect and that's done here I'm now in step D highlight this text here I want to make it bold make it dark purple you get the tooltips there so I've got that in there now what we're going to do I'm in step A we select the remaining text on page one if you look down the left corner it says that we have four pages here I go into the bottom of page one and I'm just putting on those paragraph markers make sure they're on it really helps and we're going to make it two columns. We go into layout. We click on columns two. And you get these column breaks automatically here. We're going to put a page break. So this goes on to the next page. Control enters the easiest way. Now we're going to change the font of the column text to Century School Book. Home. I click on the drop down arrow here. It shows it here. You might have to scroll down. I have different fonts showing up on my personal computer. I have that showing up. Now I want to do spell check keep saving your work we're going to review spelling and grammar we want to keep the from on there capital F ignore once I want to make that small on and then it wants to go back to that from again ignore it again and then we have bloom flight flight showing here delete repeated word we are done Going to the third line on page one where the dates are. We want to right align it. Control R. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to be doing vertical spacing here. In this section here, through here. Don't include that.
So we have two things to do. I can right click inside here, go into paragraph, make the spacing one and a half right here. And then I'm going to say after six point, it puts more spaces in between the paragraphs. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to be putting in a picture using Bing. Before and don't forget the dogs. Actually, it's as for the kids. Go here. I want to put in hot air balloons. This can get a little tricky, but it's not difficult. Insert online pictures. I type in hot air balloons. I want to find one here. You could use any one that you want. I'd probably say something simple. We're going to make it an inch and a half high. I'm going to, I click on it. Checked off. Insert. What's going to happen here? I want to make this an inch and a half high. It's five inches here. I type in 1.5. Let's go up to the previous page here. And that's not what we wanted to do. I'm going to undo. So what it is here. Height. I'm just using this little ticker here. Say OK. Now, what it's doing here, it's distorting it. I'm having a problem here. and You might have this with your computer here. And I'm going to hit the undo again. I'm going to insert another picture here. Insert online pictures, hot air balloons. And I'm going to use something a little bit different here. I'll use that one. Insert. If I go into here and I want to change the height, I'm going to type in, as it said, make it a half, one and a half inches. This worked fine. In some cases, it gets weird. What I would suggest, if you have the picture, just scroll it in. So I want to make this one and a half. What I want to do here, I want wrapping of the text here. Click here. Go to square. We have the picture here. We're going to do a few things here. And they want to use a style, picture style, rotated white. I click on the picture here. Right here. Rotated white. So you got a nice little border there. You want on the left side of the paragraph. This looks good. And when I scroll down here, you can see the page breaking is getting a little bizarre, but don't worry about it. We follow instructions. We're going to select the picture. We could recolor this, make it look like a photocopy. We want to match the thing here. If I go onto the format, I could just say uh, color, use something that coordinates. And then they want you to have artistic effects. You hold your mouse over these things here. You will find photocopy eventually here. I'm just going to use this one here. So we've made that picture there. On to step J. We're now on step three. We want to make some stuff stand out. By doing the formatting it makes it easier to read and it makes it more visually attractive we're going to make this bold triple click highlights the line I'm on the home tab I still have that dark purple it's bold we're going to create a style called questions so I expand the group I could click right oops Just keep it highlighted really doesn't matter but I'll do that as the book said here I click here I want to do a new style and I want to call this questions now watch this I click inside here I can click on questions here or I can click on the purple questions here go over here questions does this immediately great way to 
style things. And if you want to change the color from purple to dark green or red, you can do that too. So we've got all our questions done. I could close out this pane now. So next thing we want to do, I'm in letter K. We are doing bullets. I want to put round bullets here. Solid ones. You don't have to have everything selected. I click on the drop down arrow here. This is the round bullets here. It wants you to make them purple. I click inside here and I say define new bullet. I go on to font, color. I select that dark lovely purple. Say okay, okay. And watch this. I want to put the bullets here too. I click inside here. I can click on my purple bullets. So you've got that. Now I want to put a page break. This is letter L before how can I plan. And what I just caught myself doing, I was supposed to do some indents here. Watch this. I'm going to do a couple of undos. Okay. So I'm going to put a page break here. I lost the purple there. But I'm going to put a page break here. What I was supposed to do here was to put the bullets here. So I could click right on here. It shows my purple bullets again. I showed that before. What they want you to do now, we want to indent this an inch. I highlight these lines here. I want to put a one inch margin in here. You can just click on the one right on that rule, or if you don't have the rule, click on view. Now I have them still hot. You have to have both of them highlighted. Hit the tab key twice. Go down here, these paragraphs. I can make it exactly an inch tab key twice. I should not have had that there. I should have had everything highlighted. Can't do that. Showing you a couple of errors unintentionally, but we have that there. There was one thing that I believe that I missed. You were supposed to have This was supposed to have been centered. I know I missed that. You got that. You can now go into print preview. Control P. You have this page here. Click on the arrow here. So that's what it looks like with your purple bullets, indents, etc.